Hi Gareth, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick uh, recap on our lesson today. So if we look at you here on the left, last week we worked on trying to rotate the hips. Backswing's terrific. Don't change that backswing. Left arm is as pure as you like, arms tucked, bit of right hip turn. If we look at Aaron Badley at this point here, you'll see that you and him look actually identical. Really, really good here. As you start down, yes, I'd still like the hips to keep moving from the first thing. So the first movement is hips turn or clear, but the arms are dropping bang on line. But when you get to waist height, we can see your knees, far too much of your left knee. If we look at Aaron's at that same stage, we can't see any of his left knee. So we know he's turned out the way a little bit earlier than you. The next part of the jigsaw was we was trying to get the hands to release the club face. Now, if we go back a couple of frames to about there, we can definitely see that the club face is pointing to the right. So we worked on that right hand, just releasing the club over. So getting the toe of the club to release over the heel, which will eventually put a little bit of right to left spin on it. Now you managed to pick that up very, very quickly, uh, but the balls were curving left too much. So all we did was we put an alignment stick in, and again, that gave you the feeling of starting it right and drawing it back. So very, very simple. If we carry on from there, we're, we or well, we can't actually see on here, to be fair, but we know you tend to sort of pick the ball off the top or hit it a little bit heavy. If we look at Aaron here on the right, we'll see when he comes down, his face is much squarer, quicker. Okay, so the face is bang on square. But if we look at the ball now, we're seeing this ball's on a tee peg, how much divot the guy gets after the ball okay so he's really hitting down and through the ball as opposed to trying to scoop and lift the ball so i want you to do free ball cycle on the range the first ball is a little backswing and then really feel like you rotate the hands to produce like a low little draw the second ball is you're going to swing to the top and then turn your hips as fast as you can and just whack it and then the third ball is uh getting ready for the golf course so looking at a target and hitting it between each shot, you're going to make a practice swing. And the practice swing is you are going to set up in line with the ball, so where this red line is, and you're going to try and strike the mat or grass anywhere in front of the ball or that imaginary line, like Aaron here on the, on the right. Again, so he's got a good backswing. He rotates a little bit more than you coming down, and he gets the feeling that he releases the club out to the right while hitting the ground. It gets a little bit more compression on the ball, and it'll go a little bit further. Ready for you there, Gareth. Thank you.